here and welcome back to episode 6 of The Long Haul. Streaming this live on Twitch. This is my long haul series uh, with, uh, you know, with not much, uh, basically a very casual playthrough. No permadeath or anything like that. It is just something where I want to do fun builds and everything and you know, just have a good old time. I've been working on making crossbow bolts and also been working on uh now starting to make starting to put uh, blunderbuss ammunition you know just the good stuff just working on all this and I'm doing all the did some more stone axe crafting overnight to level 2 19 I'm also working on some good old uh Forge iron. I want to make another blunderbuss and crossbow. There's uh, the like, forged iron and get the glue and a. Where's all my duct tape? Um, like I guess we're gonna add some duct tape. Oh, I need short iron pipes. Um, there we go, we got a couple short iron pipes for the blunderbuss, and crossbow just needs uh, some more forged iron and some leather. Just grab two leather and perfectly on cue. There we go, crossbow. Yeah, we should be well over level 200 on the on the uh, weapon smithing due to me crafting over 200 more crossbow bolts. Um, okay, then I'll just do that. Ah, uh, boy, not having a good day. <laughs> not having a good start to this episode. Did have a couple crashes on the live stream overnight, but that's neither here nor there. Um, throw the glue in. And make sure I'm at least fed for for a bit, and we're actually looking good on food. So, um, where's my splints at? Think about going and raiding over the uh, the shotgun messiah. There's shotgun messiah like straight south of me, so. I'm gonna head over there for you on for those of you on YouTube, and I'm gonna do, and then I will tune in with you once I'm over there. Alrighty, YouTube, I've made it over to the Shotgun Messiah. Gonna start breaking in here. Shouldn't take too long with a pickaxe and decent stone axe. I do have more forged iron for a new stone axe. Well, no, not stone axe. Iron pickaxe coming in on the forge. Just, here, let's just do some breeding, get down brass tacks. Um, hi. Uh, let me just grab some iron. Oh, Annie, please, no. I don't want to be chased. I'm waiting for weapons to craft and I'm a little busy. Now yeah, only half a minute. We'll do one year blunderbuss uh, and a shot for the day. There you go. Enjoy. Uh, okay. Make another iron reinforced club. I'm just slowly wait a little bit on firepower. Wow, I whipped that shot. Oh, might as well let these guys have the blunderbuss and, you know, have fun with it. I know Horde's uh, coming up tomorrow, but it's really not that hard to beat on this version. Um... Oh, Bob, you're missing an arm. Second item I've done that to you this stream. Lovely. Well, I guess you guys really just wanted to have a word with me. I got plenty of blunderbuss ammunition now, so so 
Blunderbusses for the masses. And we'll just get rid of that one. We'll just... Oh, forgot to reload. My bad. Penny gets to taste the first shot of the new blunderbuss. Nancy! You get your taste of it, too. Look, you know, level 238 blunderbuss, too. Which is nice, so... And... Mikey. <laughs> I love the blunderbuss. Love me some blunderbuss at about 7 a.m. in the morning. Might be waking up the town, sure, but... Eh. If I wake up the town, then they... And they get to experience the, uh, the magnificence as the blunderbuss. And... There's, uh, there's yours, uh, Marla. You get two. Bob. And... Oh, Curly. I completely whipped a shot on him. There you go. Who? Oops. See and stuff curly. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, bye. Zombies just keep running after me, so... Um, well, I didn't take your arm off, so... Sad. Charlie, you really survived that, huh? There we go. Um, crossbow's done, so I'll just I'll actually save the old crossbow and the and the uh, the what you call the old blunderbuss, and we'll actually save this for a bit of merging because I'm not too far off a of workbench and. No, Bob. Bob, Bob, Bob. And hey, you guys just keep on, keep on coming, and you and you uh, want to run after me. So this is your fault. You could just ran while you had the chance. This is all your fault, zombies. Crawlers like to eat the gold fashioned blunderbuss shots. Blunderbuss and and a gold uh, crossbow bolt will help cure them of that, though. Yeah. Bye. Curly and Marla. Ooh. Moving you your head. There we go. Nice little bit of corpses lured about the place. Marla. I can tell you one blunderbuss. There we go. It's fun doing a little bit of drive by on the blunderbuss. Now finally to the shotgun side. Sorry for that little horde interruption. But gotta have the deli delivery service to do its job. And we're looking good on the old, uh, we got some gun parts, more paper for the blunderbuss. Actual limiting factor, it's not really gunpowder or paper at the moment, it's like, uh, it's, um, it's actually stones. I ran out of stones making this. It's like, but blunderbuss ammo is so easy to craft. Somebody really... Go away. I just had to deal with your friends. Do you not see the corpses out, out the front door? I know you want to you know, say hello, but at what point do you realize someone does not want to be bothered by me? <sighs> Next gun store box. More plastic. Search up the toilet. Or a wrench. Give me a workbench where we can combine those together. 
combine that and my other wrench together. Another toilet pistol. Another toilet pistol. What is this luck? It's like... Keep in mind guys, like, yo. Know, episode 2 I found a toilet pistol. A very good, like a level 135 toilet pistol. And it's like, last episode I found an... an another one, it's like, uh... So, and then I just found one this episode, and... And like, on episode 4 I think it was... I got the, uh... Oh hey, look at that, it's a... You know, I'm just grabbing that receiver. Um, I got an, I got a level 69 SMG in my inventory. A sawed-off shotgun. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like, getting a lot of good stuff out of this. Um, we'll just break into the back door here. The, the toilet pistols are insane. Well, it was like, for... The first few series on YouTube, like, I, I literally didn't do anything, well, I literally didn't find any toilet pistols, uh, over those series, and it's like, I was kind of like, yeah, I haven't found any for a while, I guess they're kind of rare, and it's like, this series, they're, they're every, they're, it's raining toilet pistols. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say of that. Uh, nothing in there. Uh, not, not much in there, and, oh, out of room, oh well, and a pistol barrel and a sniper rifle receiver, so, finding good stuff, I'll actually eat that corn, somebody wants to taste a blunderbuss, come here. You survived with the blunderbuss shot. Now you didn't. Now you see me, now you don't. Um, do 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 A little bit of... Usually once you get right up in their face, like, aside from the bigger zombies, they... They get, uh, they don't really survive that. Gunsmithing level 15, excellent news. Um, screw it, I'll drink it. Now I got dysentery. Oh boy. Eh. Can't, I can't always not have dys dysentery. Great. Um, what do I want to do next? Um, we can hit up these houses close by after I, after I dump off uh, some inventory, so let me go do that, and I will be with you guys uh, back over those houses. And I'm back over uh, near the shotgun side at the, the first of the houses I want to raid here, so, well, yeah, houses, like, this is like one of the retail store things, uh, but hey, good uh, spot as any to loot when you're dealing with houses, so... Not gonna complain. Um... Cash register. There we go. And... Some food and all that. What you got? Nothing. Be in here real quick, just see what's in here. It's a gun safe and a cardboard box. Not much else. Oil and short iron pipes. Uh, I'm not going to be into that gun safe for the time being. It takes a little time, and while I have decent tools, my iron pickaxe is about to break, so... Don't want to push my look on that. Even though I can grab one. My baseball cap. And let's see. Paper. I'm I'm gladly accepting paper. Um, oven, and then we got our kitchen here. It's not really usually too much in here. Check to see if there's anything in here. 
Now the bathroom. Yes, uh, jumping into the bathroom. Not walking in, but jumping in. New ways to go into your bathroom. Um, check the roof hole real quick, and should wrap that, wrap this POI up, and spit iron. Actually, save that iron arrowhead. It's only one, but it eh, can always use more. Um, where am I supposed to go? First nest. We'll just make that iron crossbow bowl right now. There we go. Alright. Uh, I'm trying to figure my way out of here. And let's just uh, go hit up. Actually, hit up the garage. That's a quick little raid. Boop. 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 Doop. Not much to raid in here, but eh, it gives you a little bit of stuff. Do 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 do. Tires two seventy five. And nothing from those, but yeah, nothing really from that. So start busting in here, and we'll see what's in this house. Wonder which one is because like. They have similar layouts, but they can vary. Um, just grab the cloth fragments. Boop. And... Here, uh, nightstand. Let's check you. BDU bottoms. Seven across the board. I'll just wear the blue jeans. I like the blue jeans more. More of a blue jeans kind of guy. There we go. Alright. Let's just break into this real quick. And... There we go. Oven. Just scrap. It's... Got ears of corn. And then we got more jars uh, just to use. And then coffee beans. Scrap that. Looks like we got the gun safe downstairs, um, which is an interesting little loot spot. So we also got the upstairs. It might be a gun safe down there. I'm not exactly sure. Puffle bag. The. And. Warm boots, just scrap those down. Our cap to scrap up, and we'll just check this real quick to see what's in here. Um, looks like a little chest in here to check up on. There we go. Yeah, I think it is the the gun safe house. Or one of the gun safe houses. There's a few on this version. Hey, just gotta break through this. A door, a lot of doors to break through. It is. I'll come back for it later, so. Uh, just check these up too. Electrical parts. Nothing, and. There is a. Uh, that is basically the whole place for raid, except for the, um, what do you call it? Oh, except for this toilet, uh, which had nothing in it. The gun safe, so. Um, there one more place I can check for a bit of loot. Um, let's just go head up to this house and... Then I should, uh, I should really start uh, gathering materials for a horde base, so... We'll just do one more house. Nancy! Come here. And... 
Boom. And... Yeah, you really gotta go close for these guys, so... And... Took Nancy's arm off. Annie. And... Really good way to level up shotguns early on. Whew. Turn them into a pile. There we go. That I think that's the secret to taking out crawlers. Knock knock. Breaking in. Do, 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 do. There we go. Sometimes you gotta go in the back door. And what do you got in here? More iron. More coffee beans. More everything. Cupboard. And do do more cloth fragments. It's just everything is in here. Oops, I hit one of the floors. And another pistol. Uh, I wasn't wanting to repair it. I was wanting to take the take the nine millimeter out. Just got hit up all of this. And do 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 do. Stop. There we go. Finding a lot of pistols. I guess maybe the game's wanted me to do like kind of like as my main weapon, like a uh, like a nine millimeter only playthrough. Hey, I'm just willing to use it to most of the weapons to my advantage. Play me arrows. That is a good schematic for part of weaponsmithing. Which is now level 30. And... Medicine cabinet. Nothing. Toilet for murky water. And we'll just check up the... Charlie, you got a magnum frame. And we'll just check these two up. Hey! Leather, uh, leather hood schematics, so. And cowboy boots. And. Shotgun parts and. A green tank top. I actually got two green tank tops out of this house, so. Oh, that's nice. Wonderful stuff. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go grab some, uh, well, Piggy. Piggy, come here. I was gonna say, uh, gonna grab some, some materials for the Horde base. And then, uh, I will meet you guys at the Horde, uh, at where I want to, uh, start building a Horde base. Alright, YouTube, we are at the grounds for making a Horde base. I am just figured just do right out front of a crack a book, make it easy to find. Just wanted to do for like a center core, a little bit of a, want to do, I want to do the, do a 3x3, three three, and we are, so just dig this out. Shouldn't take too long. It, I'm just working on making cobblestones at the moment, so it's like got about 390. Got 390 you know, rolling in, so be a nice little way to make some miscellaneous crafting XP and roll in. So yeah. Okay. So our next little step here is I want to do the Actually, I want to do the basic cobblestone frame set up here, and then it's going to be quite simple. I like keeping it simple, so kind of like keeping keeping things simple for the day seven horde is keeping it stupid proof, basically. How I how I like to see it. Um, 
we'll just do... And I'm going to be involving poles, so... It's going to be a little bit of an unusual, uh... It's going to be an unusual little bit of... A bit, but... I'm going to continue building this out a little bit, and, uh... So... Give me a little bit of time, and I'll tune in with you once I have it sorted out. Alrighty, YouTube, I've been <laughs> building here, just getting stuff done. I've done most of the construction. And hey, we've just reached Construction Tools level 15, which is excellent news. And just making sure I upgrade these blocks. I have almost all the construction done for the time being. It's it's wonderful stuff, so uh, just take a little bit here. I hope I apologize if it's dark, but it I've done most of the building and it's a wonderful uh, little bit. This shouldn't collect collapse the base, but eh, it's but uh, it's nighttime now. I plan on putting in a some blocks here for a ladder and then a hatch to stand on, so it's looking beautiful. It's really looking beautiful. I'm happy with this, so yeah, that's gonna be about it for today's episode of YouTube. I thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy if you made it this far. Have a great day and take care.